Hello, uh, this is a quick video on page-like networks, uh, how to make them, what they are. Uh, page-like networks are a um, function provided by, uh, by NetVis. Uh, NetVis is a data extractor for uh, the Facebook platform. And in this video, I just um, want to quickly introduce this function and uh, walk you through a couple of steps for uh, making a um, page-like uh, network visualization. Um, and maybe uh, show some tricks in the in the process. So what are page-like networks? Uh, it's a very, very simple uh, principle. The idea is that if we take a, um, a Facebook page, for example, here to one of the, what, you know, it's the American election season, so um, Republican uh, National Committee, and uh, you can scroll down a little bit, and here you get liked by this page. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of uh, other pages that appear here. And page-like networks are simply a means to um, analyze and uh, visualize and, well, basically uh, work with uh, these, um, these like connections, right? So if we go back to a NetBiz module here, uh, the whole principle is quite easy. You simply start with a, with a seed. Uh, the seed is, is, is kind of the starting point for a crawl into the network. And if you uh, choose a depth of one, uh, the, uh, the crawler uh, that's part of NetVis will uh, get all of the pages liked by the seed and also the connections between them. If you uh, choose a depth of two, well, we'll go, go uh, one step further. So um, uh, likes of likes and well, this can... Uh, quickly uh, lead to a quite, uh, a quite big um, network. So how to get an ID? Also very simple, you basically just get the URL and then uh, um, you know here you have a, a, a link that leads to this page. Here you can basically just you know enter the URL uh, and then you get this number and, the, and that's the seed, right? So um, uh, you do this and you get uh, a network file to, uh, to download. And uh, the network file is in, um, in the GDF format, which uh, works uh, very well with um, um, uh, Gephi uh, uh, graph uh, analysis toolkit, which is yeah, very easy to learn. Um, and I want to show you how to analyze this. So I already got uh, the um, uh, like network for the RNC uh, on my uh, computer. I just uh, used a depth one to keep it simple. But before uh, moving into Gephi, I just wanted to very quickly uh, talk about the, the different um, uh, uh, variables or um, uh, values that, uh, that you get for, uh, for each uh, node. Most of them are really quite straightforward. They come directly from the Facebook API. So, for example, category here, that's really, um, uh, Facebook has an internal system uh, for page categorization. Um, and then you have stuff like, you know, face count, talking, uh, fan count, sorry, talking about count um, uh, and all of those elements. But maybe two are um, uh, particularly interesting because um, one of them is not provided by Facebook itself. This one here, post activity. Uh, that's an, kind of an estimate of how often the page posts. And what I did here is simply say I took the last 100 posts of that page and then uh, um, saw uh, or kind of calculated a post per hour metric, right? So when you're analyzing this, keep in mind that this is only the last 100 posts that this is is based on and you know um, for some pages this may only cover a day or two and of course there may be a lot of variation here so keep that in count in, uh, in mind um, and the second aspect that I think is kind of interesting here is uh, the users can post variable um, which um, uh, tells you whether the page allows for user posts or not uh, users can always comment, of course, but can they post, right? So this is also kind of an interesting element. But actually, all of those things come directly from the API with the exception of uh, post activity. So that out of the way, let's move into uh, our uh, Gephi tool. I've already opened it here. And um, I just want to show you how to um, uh, work with um, a page network file. It's really not very complicated. Just opening the file here. And I have already uh, my... Um, I already have a second one here. I'm going to show you what to do with the second file in a, in a moment. But here I have my RNC file. I actually added myself 
RNC in here um, to uh, well, you know, for memory purposes, it's probably in general a good idea to um, to um, uh, use for any kind of research project a good kind of file naming system that allows you to easily uh, uh, you know find files um, and um, and you know kind of also not forget uh, which file was was uh, uh, which. So I'm just going to open this here. It's a directed file. That means there's direction to a connection. So one page may like another page, but that page isn't obliged to like back, right? So here you get some directionality. Now you can already see uh, um, um, uh, this page, uh, our RNC page, likes um, 95 other nodes, and there are 824 connections in this network, and that's uh, you know it's uh, quite uh, quite dense. Okay, let's open this here. Ah, uh, we get our usual kind of um, chaotic uh, um, uh, network element. Um, in the middle here, it's, um, <clears throat> well, um, you know, we have to do something with that to analyze it. And when it comes to network analysis, well, the most important steps are to, you know, do something with maybe size and color to allow us to, um, to see some variables in, uh, inside of the network. So that's uh, one of the two important things. And the second is to, um, to uh, lay out the, the network uh, a little bit to make it more readable and to basically use the topology of the network to create a, um, a readable graph. So we're going to use the Force Atlas 2 algorithm here, which I'm going to just run. Yeah, and you can see, uh, yeah, that uh, now looks a little bit better, but it's, it's still extremely, extremely dense here. So I'm going to... I'm going to scale it a little bit, maybe maybe 100, why not? Um, okay, and now things are already a, um, a little bit more readable. So we already notice huh, that there are some kind of denser zones around here, a little bit less density up there. Um, but of course, we need to do a bit more to be able to, um, to uh, do a more interesting analysis uh, um, uh, here. So first thing I'm going to do um, in addition is to use a color to um, add some information to our graph. So um, um, here we have this uh, appearance window on the left side. Nodes, I'm just going to color the, the nodes. This little color palette icon indicates color and I'm going to choose an attribute. And here you have all of those um, all of those uh, um, variables uh, that uh, you also already saw on uh, on uh, the the um, uh, NetWiz page. So I mean, I can take, for example, post activity, uh, the one I've talked about uh, before. So it's posts per hour, and I can use that to color uh, the nodes. Um, personally, I prefer uh, a nice heat scale. Um, and here you can already see that. Oh, this. This page here seems to be very, very active compared to the other ones. Um, we'll see in a moment uh, uh, what that is. And then I'm going to use node size to uh, visualize a second property of the node. So I go back here left uh, and here we have this icon and that leads to, uh, to size and that I can uh, use it in exactly the same way. I'm going to use uh, fan count, right? So how many people um, like this page and here, you know, I can set a minimum size and maximum size. This is all really relative. It's 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 basically about um, making it readable, right? This is um, this is something that needs to be interpreted by a researcher. So um, uh, those different elements are uh, are there to help you uh, uh, then analyze um, those things. They're not to create this kind of uh, super standardized uh, uh, methodology. Oh, and here we already see uh, this this page is liked by a lot more people than the other ones. Let's maybe run this again. Um, yeah, so it's still quite dense. Um, yeah, and here we already have uh, uh, something that um, uh, we can maybe uh, look at in a little bit more detail. Here on the left bottom, we uh, can add um, uh, um, labels uh, and, um, uh, uh, well, these labels uh, help us to, um, to really uh, uh, make this all uh, more, uh, more readable. Let's make them a little bit smaller. Like this, huh? And here we can see. So uh, our friend uh, Mitt Romney here is uh, is the one with uh, a lot of lot of likes. Well, very interesting. Uh, no, Donald Trump here. Um, I uh, let you uh, interpret what that means, but um, um, yeah, very very uh, 
uh, big lots of lakes. Herman McCain, or, uh, sorry, <laughs> Herman Cain, um, very, very active. Uh, his page, he's posting a lot, apparently. Um, all of those things we can, of course, also look at in the data laboratory. That very often makes a, 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 lot, of, uh, a lot of sense to understand uh, things a little bit better. And uh, here we could, for example, um, you know, filter, I'm going to close this here, with a bit more space, um, filter on label. For example, here we got uh, our different uh, 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 Keynes, uh, uh, John McCain and, and Herman Cain. Um, we could also go look for oops, Trump and indeed no Trump uh, here. Um, this could be uh, also uh, interesting for um, statistical network analysis. So, for example, we could go back here and they kind of generate some statistics. For example, you know, page rank, uh, authority measure. You know, I've created that. We could use that individualization. We could also go back into the data laboratory. We now have a, a page rank measure. And, um, well, unsurprisingly, um, the uh, RNC page has the highest uh, authority value in this uh, network than Mitt Romney, the, the, the second highest one. Um, and this could then be used, you know, in, a, in another kind of a, um, um, approach, um, you know, using Excel to maybe use, you know, topology metrics for analysis. Um, so that real quick uh, is a... Um, a, um, a page-like network. Well, we could of course now go into the preview, you know, and make all of this uh, maybe a little bit nicer, nicer looking. Uh, show uh, show labels here, and uh, and then have a uh, something that we can also output. Remember, uh, very useful on uh, in Gephi. Gephi uses um, uh, those rounded edges to um, to indicate um, relationality, right? And it's um, uh, the direction of um, of the arc that shows us that here, the Republican Party of Pennsylvania likes Pat Toomey, um, but not not the other way around, right? So that is uh, can be used for uh, interpretation. You have a, a lot of uh, pages that um, have uh, mutual uh, relationships. For example, here Herman Cain uh, likes the S uh, South Carolina Republican Party, and uh, they like him uh, him back, and this is why you have this kind of double. Uh, um, uh, arc structure, but this is um, uh, something, of course you can also use um, arrows here, but I find the, the curves, uh, if you get used to them, kind of very, very um, uh, uh, nice. <clears throat> Another thing I really like to do is to use, because um, you can see here, sometimes it's difficult to read, uh, um, whoops, that was a bit too far, the labels can be um, a bit difficult to read because of the, the black around the node, you can, you know, here, choose border color and then use the parent, refresh that, and then you do, you do not get this, um, this uh, um, uh, black um, um, a circle around the node, which makes it a little bit uh, more readable. Uh, another thing that's nice, and also really like to do that, is maybe not use black here, but, um, but white. And then you get... Um, you have a little bit of a space, you know, between the nodes, uh, yeah. But I wanted to show you quickly two other things that are kind of interesting uh, with um, uh, page-like networks. Well, first of all, this is relatively small because it has only a depth of one. If, if we were to take a depth of two, we'd probably already go into the uh, thousands, right? So if we would not just take into account the first um, uh, um, kind of set of pages directly liked, by the Re Republican National Committee, but also liked by those liked by the RNC. Well, very quickly um, uh, we go into into big spaces, but sometimes we want to make uh, maybe more purposeful uh, comparisons or analyses, and you can very easily actually add a second network uh, to uh, to this one. Um, so before I already, uh, um, you know, had kind of here a second page open, which is from uh, a Breitbart News, uh, um, yeah, kind of an alt-right um, kind of Tea Party publication, and I've already uh, generated the network uh, for them as well. And I'm just going to open that here now. Open, I've had that here, and instead of selecting here a new graph, I'm going to say append graph. 
And what it's going to do, it's just going to add um, the second network directly in here. Um, and if nodes are shared between our two networks, they're going to be connected. Because as you can see here in the data laboratory, the IDs of all of those nodes are actually their Facebook IDs. And if, uh, well, if uh, the two uh, networks have, uh, uh, well, the same ID and, and, well, they would if they're the same pages, then indeed uh, the nodes are, uh, are fused and they come in together. So let's, ooh, uh -huh, let's um, uh, lay out that again. And you can already see there is some connection between those two networks here in the middle. And that is, unsurprisingly, Michelle Bachmann, um, kind of a bit of a Tea Party star. Those two um, uh, networks, they are mm, pretty far away because, um, well, this one is very dense and, and Breitbart's network here, which is a bit smaller, is also very dense. Um, you can also see that actually it's, it doesn't have color so we would, um, and size, so we can you know, just reapply those things here. We can see, ah, okay, well, Fox News, uh, and then we may go back to color, post activity, apply. Oh, and here we see Breitbart getting getting really red, and you can then probably see on this side ah, that the um, Herman McCain's page is no longer red because Breitbart now is, a, is is by far the most active page. Let's look here in the data laboratory, post activity. Wow, it's a roughly 8.8 .8 posts per hour, right? So, uh, well, it's election season, so they are uh, they are on fire. But that means that suddenly uh, Herman Cain, which used to be kind of the top top scorer here, is uh, is is only at um, at place uh, uh, well five, and um, uh, yeah, there are other pages more uh, more active. So take that into account. They're pretty far away. I don't like that. If we want uh, them to uh, to come uh, together more closely. We can go here on the left into the Force Atlas 2 uh, um, um, panel and uh, um, add more gravity. I'm going to just go from 1 to 100, run it again, up, and you can see the two are now uh, much more closely related. So, so that can be very interesting if, um, if you have um, you know, kind of a number of pages. It um, doesn't have to be two, it uh, can be more, so you can basically just add in the same way I just did it. You can just add um, uh, pages to your network, and this would allow you to see how, okay, so what kind of convergence is there? Which kind of actors that you find in between of those, uh, in between those um, uh, light ne like uh, uh, networks? Um, one can definitely do more with page-like networks. Um, also, uh, you know, if you go even deeper, uh, if you do uh, crawls that have a depth to kind of explore a little bit the kind of the cultural actor space um, uh, behind uh, all of those things. And, uh, you know, if you're very, very ambitious, uh, uh, you could, um, you could uh, map, uh, you know, quite, quite big um, um, uh, networks kind of combining several depth to uh, uh, networks and maybe getting an idea about kind of bigger cultural uh, spaces. I also didn't talk at all um, about kind of further analytical methods that are built in I mean, I, I, I quickly ran PageRank here, but there's, there's more stuff than one could use. But uh, this is uh, this is the basics of uh, page-like networks, and I hope uh, this was uh, interesting to you. Yeah, have uh, and have fun analyzing.